In this video, we are unboxing the Samsung Galaxy S10. This is Samsung's latest device. It, it honestly looks incredible. And like my other unboxings, I like to uh, show the full process, uh, including the box it actually ships in. And I think it's interesting. Apple does a great job with their packaging. It's rather eco-friendly. Uh, this, um, yeah, we got a lot of air in here, so not the most eco-friendly. It is recycled film, uh, contains at least 95% pre-consumed recycled material. So that's better. I think Apple's approach is still more minimal than this. So we got this, let's get air out of the way. Got a packing slip, not gonna need that. This was a pre-order. So we got the Galaxy S10 and it came with a free pair of Galaxy Buds. Again, wrapped in plastic. It's already a lot of plastic for Samsung, not not the most eco-friendly. And um, there we go, oops. So this is what you get in the box. You get the Samsung Galaxy S10 itself, the Samsung Galaxy Buds if you pre-ordered, and a little pamphlet that, uh, that just says thank you. So we're gonna set the Galaxy Buds off to the left here because uh, those are not what we're here for. We're here for the Galaxy S10 device itself Unlocked by Samsung, I always recommend buying your phones factory unlocked. That way you can go off contract with carriers like Mint, Metro, by T-Mobile, Cricket Wireless, Tello, Ting, Twigby, you name it. All right, so that is it. it. Looks like actually instruction booklet. So I guess we're not meant to read the instructions? I'm not really sure what Samsung's uh, game is here. Well, let's dive in to the phone itself. So this is how it comes in the package. I went with the kind of shim, uh, pearl, pearl white. What I don't know what this. Is. I went with this color. Looks, I looking. It looks really nice. Has a great, great feel in the hand, even with the plastic on. Uh, it comes with AKG earbuds in the box. That is something um, wasn't expecting. We got our power adapter. This is a USB power adapter. It looks like we have a USB C to USB adapter. This is likely for transferring data from an old device to this device, so that's kind of cool. Taking a look at the AKG buds. Oh, okay, so that's a cable. These are the AKG buds, so um, these actually look really nice. Pop these open, okay. So here we go. Uh, these are really nice buds. They have a braided cable. That's the first thing I'm noticing right now. And artfully unpackaged. So once you have your AKG earbuds out of the um, cardboard, either Cardboard intact or ripped to shreds. This is what they look like. Uh, this top part here is a little rubbery, but once you get down to this joint, this is a nice braided cable. That is awesome to see. And you have a few ear tips you can swap them out with. Um, and you can just add these to your pile of headphones. We will, we'll just, all right. And you get the charging cable. Okay, boom. USB-C to USB cable. Uh, this is not the best cable in the world. I actually would have preferred if this was braided over the headphones because I know I'm going to use this. Well, I guess I have a wireless charger. Um, yeah, so it's it's functional. It's not the best. And that is what is in this box. We'll set that off to the side. Uh, there is paperwork in here. Let me just... Got it. Um, so we have our SIM eject tool. Essential if you're an unlocked person like me for swapping SIM cards. And and our um, quick start guide. But oh, this is interesting. This device includes a pre-installed screen protector. If you remove it and want to use a different screen protector, make sure it allows for use of all touchscreen features, including the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. That's what's in the box. Let's get to the Galaxy S10 itself. We can actually. You can zoom in for this one. You'll notice it does have a piece of plastic on it, but there is a there's a square cutout. I don't know what that is about. It's like that is the one unprotected part of this phone. Back is off. That is really nice. Samsung still has to have the etching on the back on um, some of the legal stuff. They haven't gone out of that. Apple's able to put that in their settings, which is really cool. And the front is just the pre-installed screen protector which is awesome. I mean, it's perfect. There are no bubbles. You can hardly feel it. it. feels like glass. 
Um, but if you look at the camera cutout, that's the only reason you can really tell. So that's awesome. I actually wish other phone companies and carriers did this. I know OnePlus did that, so props to them. And yeah, we can just power this on. That's the Bixby button. And uh, yeah, while this is booting up, let's take a look at the Galaxy Buds. I am actually immediately going to need that. Oh, I'm going to need that again. Okay, now taking a look at the Galaxy Buds. This is what we're getting in the package. We have a nice little pouch case. And I would think the Buds would already be in here. And indeed they are, so this is what they look like. I believe they match the phone color you get. So I didn't really have a choice when I was picking these. They were just included. It's got some nice light indicators. USB-C charging, I love to see that. Let's see what else is in this box. Probably a charging cable. Um, and that would be another, oh my goodness, we have a lot of things in here. So let's just, shoot. First we get another one of those somewhat mediocre, I would say USB to USB-C cables for charging your buds. But remember, you can charge them like that. And you get a whole slew of ear tips and cups and you know it's funny the AKG headphones had a nice little skewer for everything I kind of wish this had a better way of storing these anyway so that is it this is everything you get with the Galaxy S10 if you pre-ordered first you get the buds limited time offer not for resale you get the buds themselves in the wireless charging case you have two sets of replaceable ear tips you get ear wings so they can fit more snugly in your ears you have a USB to USB-C cable so you can charge your buds but you don't have the power adapter good thing it comes with the Galaxy S10 itself then you of course have the Galaxy S10 you have a USB to USB-C adapter so you can transfer data from your old phone to your new phone. You have AKG audio buds, which you won't need because you got the Galaxy Buds. You have a USB to USB-C cable, which you can use to charge your Galaxy S10, but you don't need because you probably have wireless charging anyway. You have a quick reference guide, the Galaxy S10 box itself, and not pictured, no. a SIM eject tool that is taped to the back of this thing, which is impossible to get out in case you missed that. And that's it. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. This is everything that is included with the Galaxy S10. If you pre-ordered and were able to snag a free pair of Galaxy Buds, I want to thank Mint Mobile for making this video possible and sending me a Galaxy S10 to test out and review. Naturally, my question is, what are the best cell phone plans for the Galaxy S10? Uh, so stay tuned to subscribe as we take a look at that and how the Galaxy S10 performs on popular networks like Mint Mobile, US Mobile, and more. Subscribe to stay tuned. I'm Stetson. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.